This honestly feels like a dream come true. Puma and Pokemon are coming together to collaborate on five different pairs of sneakers releasing later this month on November 12th. Filming this video is so fun because I'm a full-time sneaker vlogger, but also part-time Pokemon YouTuber. So I love this thing. So as you would probably expect with any sort of like mainstream Pokemon collaboration, they are going back to the roots of the Kanto region featuring Squirtle, Charmander, Bulbasaur, and Pikachu. Uh, I said Pikachu and put up two fingers and that's because Pikachu is getting two pairs of shoes while the rest of the OGs all get one each. And just a heads up, we are doing a giveaway with Manta Trading, one of our favorite stores ever, for a booster bundle and elite trainer box of Silver Tempest this month. For the common question of the day to enter yourself in the giveaway for a Silver Tempest booster bundle, comment down below your two favorite sneakers out of these five and if you actually intend on buying any of them or you just want to like look at cool pictures of them and stuff like that. Oh yeah, and I have some extra trick or trade booster uh, packs we're gonna give away, but I'll mention that at the very end of the video. So for all of the Puma Pokemon sneakers we're gonna be talking about today, they are going to be releasing in full family sizing on November 12th. Now, where can you buy them? Well, likely you'll be able to find them on the Puma website alongside Foot Locker and Select Sneaker Boutique. So if you have a sneaker store that often sells like Puma collaborations, expect them to get this Pokemon one as well. And in terms of stock numbers, the largest amount of quantity is likely going to be sold on Puma's official website or on Foot Locker. So I'll leave links down below to places you guys can buy them if I can find the links for them. If not, then I'll just be sure to update you guys on Twitter or on Instagram. You guys can follow me at SneakerTalkCA and SneakerTalkTCG. Here are the Pikachu Puma Rider FVs. And this is the only shoe in the entire collection where there is two different colorways of the exact same shoe. So of course, it being Pikachu themed, these are gonna be fully loaded with tons of yellow all over the shoe. The major piece of Pikachu branding on the shoe is going to be on the tongue where you have that Puma logo stamped up top and Pikachu winking and the Puma Rider series are very comfortable shoes So if you were actually going to wear these every day, it's a shoe I could recommend now I am a bit disappointed. They didn't release these on the Puma future riders one of my favorite Puma sneakers out there They actually did a collaboration I believe like a year or two ago that it did a sponsored brand deal with uh, with Puma Nintendo on these right here These are the Puma future rider Super Mario 64 again You shout at the Puma for sending these over they also gifted me a Nintendo switch for the brand deal Which was really cool, uh, but yeah, this is a look at a really cool design You know that they did they I think they really did kind of go all out with the Super Mario 64 Puma Future Riders I'm a really big fan of the the base of this shoe So I do wish that the rider they chose was the future rider and not the rider FV the boxes were really really cool, too So I'm expecting Puma to have some cool boxes to match these shoes too. Puma does a pretty good job about that when it comes to their collaboration And while we're on the topic of Super Mario shoes another cool shoe that did in that collection was the uh, the Super Mario Sunshine Clydes and it has uh, it's pretty, these are like these are these are cool man these are cool so these are a little more subtle you know they don't scream super mario on to the second pair of puma rider fbs these are going to be featuring a bulbasaur so if green's your favorite color or if you just love that bulbasaur Pokemon. Um, <laughs> this is probably the most underrated, like the least loved out of the three Kanto starters. Now the overall design of these shoes are exactly the same, except for that Puma logo on the side. Instead of that like thunderish design that's on the Pikachu, it goes for cracked leather, which has a pretty cool texture and look to it. These feature suede, nylon, and mesh throughout the shoe, and they feature multiple different shades of green. Just like the Pikachu sneakers, these also come with a little Bulbasaur hang tag, and also the tongue features Bulbasaur as well, instead of Pikachu. Now those first two shoes, I'm probably Probably not gonna buy, but this next pair I definitely have on my radar. These are gonna be the Puma Suede Squirtles. Or the Squirtle Squad Suede? The Squirtle Suede. Yeah, there you go, the Squirtle Suede. They're definitely uh, more in line like with what I like to wear. I love Puma Suede to begin with. They're a really, really good shoe for daily beating. So that sounds horrible, <laughs> daily beating. Uh, they're a really good shoe to make your daily beaters. And I love Squirtle. Squirtle evolves into my favorite Pokemon of all time, Blastoise. So this is kind of a no-brainer to try and go for. The Squirtle Suede's opt for multiple shades of blue and they have a semi-translucent outsole, which is pretty cool. The Squirtle suede's do come with blue shoelaces on them when you buy them. However, they do come with extra laces with some white. So if you want to switch out the blue, maybe it's too much blue for you, you want to tone it down a bit, the white laces are going to be your option. And just like the previous two sneakers I showed you guys, it also comes with a hang tag featuring Squirtle's face. And right on the tongue, you of course have the Puma branding with Squirtle's adorable face right underneath. One thing that really pops is the back of the shoe. On the heel, you have this sort of like, uh, it's not plasticky, it's like a patent 
leather kind of material. And then it has a bunch of like these water teardrops for the water energy. Moving on to what might be the fan favorite of the shoes, just because it is sort of Charizard related. We're talking about the Charmander sneakers up next. These are the Puma Slipstream Low 1987s, and it's the only retro basketball shoe out of all of these. So if you love, you know, retro basketball sneakers, something more, more chunkier, uh, you can go for these instead. Now the Charmander sneakers are pretty bold in comparison to the Pikachu, Bulbasaur, and Squirtle ones, which all kind of have like one color with different shades. The Charmanders instead go for a mixture of red, orange, and yellow. The shoes are predominantly suede and do come with white laces attached to them. But if you want to switch it out for some orange laces, you can do so because that's what they include. These also, of course, come with a Charmander hang tag. And if you take a look at the tongue, you have Charmander's cute face next to the Puma logo. And one thing that really sticks out about these shoes is the outsole. The Charmander Slipstream Low 1987s are the only shoe out of the five that had this multi-tone outsole with a bunch of different colors. So those were the four Kanto starters I just showed you guys. And now there's one more I got to show you. That is the second Pikachu pair. And it comes in the form of one of my favorite Puma silhouettes, the Puma RSX. Now, if you know me from my main channel, you know I love the Puma RSX and I have quite a few in my collection. One notable pair that released not too long ago or a couple years ago would have been the Puma RSX. Uh, these are the RSX 3s, I believe. This is the Sonic collaboration, the Sonic the Hedgehog collaboration. They also did a, uh, a Knuckles and Shadow version as well. And if you really wanna go back, the Puma RSO was really, really cool. It featured a lot of Sonic's hair all over the shoe. These things are cool, man. And they even have like little rings on the the, the shoelaces. Oh, I love these. Can't forget about that outsole. So these are the Puma Pikachu RSX or the Pikachu RSX, you could say. I love the RSX silhouette. So this is definitely gonna be the one I go for first out of all five of them. And then the Squirtle Squad ones are gonna be the ones I go for second. The Puma RSX is a super, super comfortable silhouette. So if you wanted to wear these a ton, you're gonna get a lot of value out of them. And they feature that bold, loud Pikachu yellow with little hits of black as well. And uh, unfortunately, the one thing I just realized now is there really isn't any hits of red throughout the shoe. The red Pikachu cheeks can only be seen on, well, Pikachu's cheeks on the tongue of the shoe on that leather tab. And these also come with the exact same Pikachu hang tag that came with the first Pikachu sneakers I showed you guys earlier. I really like the way they had the speckle pattern on the yellow on the side of the shoe. And I also like the fact that they have a decent amount of black and white throughout the shoe on the back to help balance all the colors. It looks really, really, uh, really nice. Comment down below your favorite one or two sneakers out of all these or if you intend to buy any, I wanna know. Now I do have a main channel called Sneaker Talk and there I do a lot of sneaker videos and vlogs, especially going to Japan a lot. I've been to Japan eight times. So if you made it to this point of the video, there's gonna be an end screen card that pops up right now and it's gonna be the trip I went to Japan with my girlfriend and my best friend and one of his boys. It's the very first vlog of a month long trip and one person who watches that video and comments their favorite moment in it, they're gonna get two of these trick or treating packs or trick or treat packs and a battle styles pack. So that giveaway is going to run for one week. That travel vlog isn't too sneaker heavy and uh, you guys get to see a more personal side of your boy. All right, thanks for watching. And uh, again, one person who comments and likes that video with their favorite moments, I'll uh, give these packs to.